I'm about to start a series of six webinars with the title on the bit and I want to tell you more about these. First of all, we have to think about the title. It's not a great term, is it? On the bit means a million different things to a million different people. The commonality being that most people know their horse's nose should be vertical and they may know very little else about the rest of his body. And some people will want to get the horse's nose vertical by hook or by crook. I much prefer the term which I coined many years ago of the seeking reflexes, which at least has the idea of the horse reaching his head and neck to seek contact with the end of the rein, lifting through his back to seek contact with the rider's backside and thigh, filling out his ribcage as he breathes more deeply and seeks contact with her leg. So the seeking reflexes is a much more whole body idea than on the bit. And most people's version of on the bit is you kick the back end and you hold the front end and between those two the horse would come up in the middle, except the horse doesn't. He kind of scrunches very often with a neck that gets really short and a nose that comes really back in. Another version of on the bit would be you kick the back and you do various fiddly things with your hands in the front and again his head and neck are supposed to come into a set place. And we might also have the addition of use your seat without that being explained. What the heck does that mean? How? What part of you? What are you supposed to do with it? It really is very vague and very open to interpretation. If it was as easy as kick and hold or kick and fiddle, we'd all be doing it. We'd all be getting great scores. We'd all have our horses working really well. There'd be no misunderstanding and no problem. When it's not that easy, here's the question. Is it your horse's fault? Is he being difficult? Is he out to thwart your attempts? Maybe that's not true. Maybe the problem really is with the terminology and everybody's very vague understanding the attempt to bring it down to hold and kick or hold and fiddle and kick, whatever it may be. The bottom line is we as riders need to find a way to say it in the language horse. It's a communication problem, both from teacher to student and from rider to horse. Solve the communication problem, break it down into doable, repeatable pieces, lose the mystique, make it understandable, and we change the game. So six one-hour webinars may sound like an awful lot to talk about on the bit, but actually I think it does it justice. It's appropriate to break it down, make it into bite-sized chunks, show you its different dimensions, show you its physical challenges, show you its mental emotional challenges, show you the skills you need to learn that talented riders do without even knowing they're doing them, and therefore don't say it in a good way to you. So this is a doable, learnable skill that I can communicate to you to change the way that you communicate with your horse. If we say it in the language horse, we make it different. If we think the horse is supposed to learn the meanings of our fiddles and our kicks and our pulls, I reckon we're doomed. So I very much hope you'll join me and that I'll see you very soon.